Diagnosis is made by obtaining a urine specimen and performing urinalysis and urine culture. On urinalysis, one looks for pyuria and bacteriuria. Pyuria refers to the presence of white blood cells in the urine. This is shown on urinalysis either by positive leukocyte esterase, an enzyme that is released by white blood cells, or by visualizing white blood cells on microscopy. Bacteriuria refers to evidence of bacteria in the urine. This is typically seen by the presence of nitrites on urinalysis or bacteria visualized on microscopy. Nitrites are produced by an enzyme in many gram-negative bacteria, which reduces the nitrate naturally present in urine to nitrite. The nitrite test will be negative if the infection is caused by a gram-positive organism like Enterococcus. This test is also commonly negative in young infants because they void too frequently to allow time for this conversion. Diagnosis relies on culturing a sterile specimen to ensure that the bacteria growing are not a contaminant from the skin. In a toilet-trained child, a clean-catch specimen may be obtained by cleaning the perineum prior to the child voiding into a sterile specimen cup. In infants who are still in diapers, only a urethral or suprapubic catheterized specimen should be sent for urine culture due to the high risk of contamination with organisms on the skin or from the GI tract. In many cases, catheterization can be avoided if there is no evidence of a UTI on the urinalysis. Urinalysis is first performed on urine that is collected from a bag placed around the urethra. If the urinalysis is negative without bacteriuria or pyuria, there is no need to send a culture. If there are any concerning findings on the urinalysis, a second step of sending a catheterized specimen for urinalysis and urine culture is necessary. Diagnosis is confirmed when urine culture grows a significant number of colonies of a uropathogen.